hello. Uh, Secretary of State, um, do you agree with Ofsted uh, when they say it's a national scandal that thousands of children in England aren't getting the SEND support, special education needs disability support in their school? Um, I think, yeah, obviously it is imperative that children that do have additional needs are having those needs supported. And as I've said before, I think it's a measure of us as a society, how we, how we support and help uh, kids who do have special needs. Uh, I was saying earlier um, about, you know, the spend on high needs has gone up uh, from five billion pounds to six billion pounds. Uh, but, you know, and it, you do hear from schools um, that they're seeing children with more complex sets of needs. Uh, not every, it's not always clear exactly why that trend towards more complexity uh, would be happening in every case, uh, but it's a reality. Um, and we know that there are more, I mean, contrary to what actually a lot of people believe, there are more children going to a special school now rather than in mainstream school. We need to make sure we've got the right uh, education setting for every child that's going to work best for them. Uh, for some that will be a special school, for many that will be a mainstream school, and of course we need to make sure that in a mainstream school there is the right support there, there's the right facilities and, what, and whatever is needed to, uh, to support that individual child. You talk about uh, additional funding and I think there's a 350 million announcement for SEND. No, I meant before that. Okay. Before that. Okay. Uh, we're still at a deficit when you consider a shortfall. I think local authorities say there's a mm. shortfall of 536 million, mm. which is mm. about between 1.2 and 1.6 billion mm. uh, shortfall by 2021. Um, what do you put the failure of um, local authorities and schools <coughs> in addressing the needs for, for students or for children that need EHC plan, what do you put that down to? Because the rise in tribunals is extraordinary. What do you put that down to? Well, I mean, I don't want to repeat everything I just said about the importance of making sure that the, uh, the setting is right, the support is right for every child, but obviously that's at its core. And I don't want to say that local authorities have in general and schools have in general let children down, because I don't think they have. I mean, I think they do amazing, uh, amazing work. When, when, um, let me just come back yeah. to on that, uh, if I may. Um, when you consider that for one local authority area that we spoke to, a 55% increase in mm. SEND tribunal cases mm. has happened, and that 90% of those cases are lost at a cost of 30 to 40 grand yeah. per case, that's a huge amount of money being wasted on legal fees when it would be better spent within the school. Why, aren't, why isn't the Department for Education doing more to alleviate those problems and improve the support that SEND mm -hmm. call? And you, you didn't say whether you agreed or not with Ofsted's assessment that it is a national scandal. Well, we are doing things to, um, to help to improve uh, support. So, I mean, you mentioned a moment ago about the uh, additional um, funding over the next couple of years, which we announced just at the end of last year. So there's um, over two years, £250 uh, million. Pounds. There's also capital money. Uh, we've also said we would uncap um, from existing free school applications for free school special schools. There's also wider questions around um, what happens in initial teacher training to help support uh, teachers, the role of uh, educational psychologists. We would need to see uh, we need to see more of those. So, so there is work to be done to, and is going to be done to improve uh, to improve support. I do just want to pick you up on one thing, though. I mean, the twenty fourteen reforms bringing in education, health, and care plans. I mean, were a were an important positive step. And I mean, my as it happens, when I was in fact I was on this committee when we did pre ledge uh, scrutiny of that of that bill. Uh, but also as a constituency MP, we were a, a what's called a um, trailblazer area, so we saw some of the reforms uh, sooner. And actually from a constituency casework uh, point of view, as a constituency MP, uh, the introduction of EHCPs, I found, uh, I saw a, a positive trend in my casework. 
But of course, that also it also introduced um, new, quite rightly, introduced new uh, new rights, and that uh, and that also obviously is something that has to be managed in the managed in the system. So, uh, we always we will always be having to try harder, and we should always be okay, trying harder to do our best with for these kids. With respect, Secretary of State, you haven't answered any of my questions in that. Um, I agree. So in, I agree in the print. I agree with the print. I agree with the principal shift that the 2014 Act offered us with child centred, with co-production. The evidence that we've taken from local authorities is that 90% of those cases that go to tribunal fail, uh, uh, the, sorry, their case fails and tribunal uh, holds um, up the appeal uh, made by parents. And I'm asking you what the DfE is doing, not what mm. could be done, what must be done, what might be done, what will be done. What, what are you doing? Because this has been with us for a number of years when you consider 70% of those pupils excluded have SEND, an explosion in tribunals. Mm. If the tribunals that were brought that do, for sure, mm. uh, come off the back of new entitlement, mm. but you, you, you've raised the new entitlement. Yes, I know. But, but, I know. but, then, but then ignore the mm -hmm. consequence of parents not getting this support and their evidence to us, I'm sure evidence mm. if they if they get through in consti mm. at constituency level to all of our uh, members of mm. parliament, our colleagues, will they will be used to parents for whom their experience is framed mm. through struggle, not through some sense of entitlement mm. being given, but through struggle. So what is the DfE mm. doing about that and what has it done in recent 18 months? Well, first of all, I did answer, I was answering your question. Um, because the things I was saying were not things that might be, be might be done. They are things that we are, either are doing or are going to do. It's also true that there has been, uh, you know, there has been an increase in provision. Uh, that is just true. But it is also true that um, there are more demands on the system. And for every, and again, all of us as constituency MPs, we meet parents who have gone through some of those battles uh, in order to get the right education, get the right care for their child and you know our hearts go out to them and also I think also also all of us constantly think about those kids who, who don't have parents who have the same um, necessarily the same capability or, or, or engagement to be battling in the way that some of the parents that we see do and as uh, you know as, as a minister it's my responsibility to, to make sure we're standing up for those kids as well. And so, yes, I want to make sure that uh, more, more often it is the right decision first time. There doesn't have to be a tribunal at all. I don't actually have the numbers in front of me, but I believe, I, I recall that the most recent set of uh, numbers did show a, a drop in that, uh, in that percentage number. As I say, I don't have Which the... Which percentage the, number? And the, um, the, the number of uh, tribunals being, being found in favour. But I don't have a... I say I don't have that. A drop in fa I found a favour of the original of the parents saying uh, we're not getting our. Yes. Yeah, so, in, so in other words, more often finding that the uh, that the uh, the arrangements that had been set were were right. But as I say I, I so don't I don't have the number in front of me. Okay. So well, then, then, okay. Sorry. Perhaps well, perhaps you could provide us with that. Uh, that's quite an important change, though. I would argue that all that does is say that parents who have had their expectations set at something by government introducing new entitlements then aren't getting those entitlements. My, my problem with the system that you're presiding over is that too often our children uh, that Ofsted have called a national yeah. scandal aren't getting the SEND support and therefore also not getting the EHC plans. So what, what needs to be done and what are you doing to address that problem. Yes. Um, so, Ofsted and the uh, and the CQC uh, now you know, combine with in their inspections of local areas, and I, I, so they've inspected all 152 local areas on uh, SCND. <coughs> um, 42 uh, inspections uh, completed. And, and in 34 of those cases, the local authority area has been required to produce a written statement of action. So, in other words, come forward with what they are going to do, what they are going to do differently. Okay. And what do you recommend they do do differently? I well, it will be different in 
clearly in different local areas, there'll be different strengths and weaknesses in the system. So I don't think it's I don't think it'd be right for me to generalise. Okay, so fin finally, chair, uh, just on exclusions, mm. um, the Department for Education has no data on 20% of all exclusions that happen in this country. Uh, marked the term other. Uh, you may have heard me uh, reference this in a question to the Prime Minister. Um, why don't we take, why don't we make schools give us reasons and collect <coughs> data for exclusions, particularly when 70% mm. of all children excluded from schools that you're responsible mm. for have special educational needs mm. or disability? Mm. <coughs> so exclusions is a matter of... Um, is a matter of concern for me. Um, it's why we've asked uh, Edward Timpson to conduct, a, to conduct a review, as you know, and he's going to be, well, he has been already, uh, doing a lot of the work on it, and he's, he'll be reporting back uh, on his findings, and I don't think it's right for me to preempt what he is going to recommend. <coughs> Can I just come in um, on but, that? Yeah. Just, just, just come, you put, which is quite important, because I was at an event with you yeah. with... Uh, uh, Centre for just, uh, Centre yes. Social Justice, um, where you said that you would be committed to improve his school accountability regarding excluded pupils. Well, where are we on that? Uh, well, the, the, well, my answer to that, Chairman, would be the same as mine to uh, to James, which is, as I say, I, it is a matter of uh, concern for me. I do think that there is a role for exclusions. I don't think you can say there should never be a child suspended or expelled from school. Um, just to confirm you are committed to that and there'll be some because they, you did say it they are they have <laughs> been they have been rising in the last a few years but they're still not as high as they were 10 years ago so and that's worth it's worth uh, keeping in mind but some of the issues that like you mentioned around uh, particular groups children with particular types of special needs some of these particular ethnic groups and the preponderance there these are all matters of concern to, to the Chairman's point, uh, similarly, I'm going to wait to hear what uh, Edward Timpson comes back with. Uh, of course, on looking at this question of how you make that accountability, when you start to think about how it would actually work in practice, it, of course, turns out to be more complex than it at first appears. And we have to be very careful, as with a lot of things in the education system, we are very careful about avoiding unintended right. consequences. The review, but the, the principle review? of it, and you this was the... The principle of it, I agree with. Okay. When will the review be published? I haven't got an exact date, but I mean early in 2019, which of oh, course yeah. we're now in. I, <laughs> met, I met with uh, Mr. Timpson yeah. and asked him to consider um, the removal of the term other and an mm. expectation on schools vis-a-vis mm. -vis accountability mm. that they would be expected to describe mm. the reasons for mm. this exclusion. Um, do you support the removal of the term other as a description, as a reason for exclusion? It is not some, that is not a specific question that I have, uh, that I know enough about sitting here today to give, it would be irresponsible of me to give you an either, a do direct you, answer either way. But I'm very, ben, very happy to, I'm very happy to, very happy to look at it. And I'm also very happy to look at anything that you uh, send to me okay. in support of it.